Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, checking in. This week we got our very first cleaning tutorial. I've never done this before. I picked up the Rejuvenator Ultimate Kit. As you see, it is the old packaging. I bought this back during Black Friday for 50% off. They have recently done a rebrand, so their package does not look like this. If you follow the Rejuvenator, but um, this is the first time that I've got to use this. I picked up a pair of used Yeezy Zebra V2350s. Um, I don't know how well you can see on the camera. It's black here. Bottoms are nasty. So we're going to clean them up. I do have a dead stock pair, but I want a pair that, um, that I can wear and keep the other dead stock. So the items we're going to be using in today's video is the Advanced Sneaker Solution. We, I don't know if we're gonna use all four brushes, but we got the soft, the middle, the medium, the stiff, and the brass. May have to use the brass, well maybe not on the bottoms. Definitely got to use the stiff one on, on the bottom of the sole zone. We're gonna be using the, the shoe tree. And after we get done doing all that, scrubbing it down, cleaning it up, we are going to have to put it in the washing machine with a sneaker laundry detergent. We got the collapsible bowl, already got the water in it ready to go. So we're going to only do one shoe for before and after purposes. So we're, we're going to put this shoe aside. I have picked up one new item from Rejuvenator since they did the rebrand. I got their cleaning towel for absorbing water. It looks like it works really great from the videos I watched from Vic Almighty. All right, first things first, let's get the laces out. I will try to fast forward some of the footage so the video's not super long. My camera can't film over 20 minutes at a time, so there will be breaks in the footage more than likely. All right. Get that out. Let's get the insoles out. The uh, Yeezy logos worn off. This, once again, this is a used pair. Let's put our shoe tree in here. These are size 13. If you're a follower of the channel, you know I normally wear size 12, but due to how the toe box narrows in, size 12 was very uncomfortable on my foot, and so was a 12 and a half, so I had to go a whole size up on them. Like Vic Almighty would say, two squirts all right so we're going to start off with a soft bristle brush on the uppers Already able to tell a big difference. This toe box area had a black, like, like a, you know, a light black, like tan, I guess you could say, from the dirt from whoever the previous owner was.
I went with getting a used pair for the one for me to wear just because the size 13 dead stock is going to be like in the low 400 range and I just couldn't see paying 400 for a pair of just a dead stock to wear them so got these for half that price. I actually got these for what retail would be if uh, you were one of the lucky few that was able to get these. I know the third release of these people were more successful but by that time I already had a pair so I didn't go out to double up at the time. I have to do this video over maybe two days because I have to wash these and allow them to dry. Then come back and uh, we gotta whiten the bottom of the soles and stuff. So that's kind of time consuming. So I doubt we'll be able to get this complete project done today. So if you see me later in the video wearing a different shirt, that's the reason why. Soul. All right, we're going to switch brushes. We're going to switch to the medium. I do have a camera assistant today. My girlfriend's son Daniel's helping me out. So all the side shots you see are recorded by him. All right, these bombs are probably gonna be the toughest part. As you can see, the boost is all nasty and all yellowed and everything, which they, I already have kind of a yellow tint to them, but uh, these are definitely have got some wear in. The bottoms aren't like terrible shape other than how dirt dirty they are. It does have a little bit of heel drag back around where it says boost on, on the heel. Alright, let's switch to the stiff bristle brush. boost on here is pretty nasty. Alright, we're going to switch to the, the brass brush, see if we can kind of get this boost cleaned up a little bit better than what it is. probably get cleaned in the cleaning process when I brought those in the wash machine. Alright. I don't know how 
how well the camera will do it justice, but I think you already can see that it's brighter. Don't you think, Daniel? Yeah. All right, so a couple more steps before we get ready to do that. We need to scrub this insole right quick because it's definitely dirty, as you can see. socks you can't like see the toes <laughs> on the insole all right we need to clean the laces right quick let's dump them in the remaining uh, solution we got here in the bowl get them all soaked up nice and good I haven't replaced these insoles. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to come clean. Looks like the guy probably wore these barefoot from what it looks like on the insoles, to my, my opinion. But. time to dry and everything then we'll finish up this cleaning tutorial all right all right we're back on day two uh, let it dry overnight looks great do a side-by-side -side comparison to the shoe that we have not done yet you see how dirty how much br brighter white it is now huge improvement Uh, the bottoms cleaned up pretty decent compared to how they were before, but we still need to clean it up even more, especially in the boost area. So that's what we're going to work on for day two. So I've never done this before, but I've seen it done. So this will be my first attempt. We're going to use Angelus's Soul Bright. You also can use um, Salon Care 40, but... This came in a kit that I bought, so I'm going to use this since that's what I have available. Once I run out of this, I'll probably start using the Salon Care 40. So you're going to have to brush this on all the areas you want to um, brighten back up. I already pour some in a little dish here. I'm going to use some paint brushes to apply it. Then we got some plastic wrap to put on the bottom after we get done with that. Um, one thing I wasn't thrilled about, I scrubbed and washed the insole of the shoe along with the, sh um, with, with, with the shoe at the same time. And I guess the person that owned these before me wore them with no socks, so I had their footprint <laughs> stained into the um, insole. So I found a place that sells replacement Yeezy insoles, so I have those on the way, but I won't have them in time at the end of this video to be able to show them to you but so for right now I gotta still roll with these until the replacements get here all right let's get into this and hopefully we're successful once again I've never done this before 
I know you don't want to get it on your skin because it will burn. We'll have to sit it out in the sun for probably anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour probably to get the best results. Try to make sure you don't get it on the uppers. You don't want to accidentally bleach some of the design on the material. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have the second camera angle for this, unfortunately. I actually use an iPhone to film the, set, the side footage when I have videos that have multiple angles. And I got so much stuff on the phone, it doesn't have enough room to record. So, got a new iPhone on the way, so look for more custom videos coming up. And got several Jordans I'm getting ready to do. Got some Air Force Ones. Really wish I had that other camera angle for y'all to see, but basically get the point of how, how to do this just by watching this. I may speed up some of this footage to keep the video from being super long. I think part one is probably going to be close to the 10 minute range. But I'm going to try to trim it down in editing. Had a good experience using the Rejuvenator Ultimate kit on this. Never use their products other than their sneaker wipes. Very impressed with how, how well it worked. Highly recommend it. Once again, this video is not sponsored by Rejuvenator or any of the products you see in this video. I did purchase everything you see being used now that it was given to me for promotional purposes. All right, got all the sides done on the midsole. Let's knock out the bottom. I plan on using the bottom of the shoe box so I can lay the shoe like this in the sun. Yeah, hopefully get even exposure on all the sides. I don't know how well this will whiten up the boost. If we need to, we'll use a uh, white Sharpie paint pen to re-whiten it if needed. I just bought some cheap paint brushes to apply this with because I didn't, did not want to use the ones I used to apply the leather paint on the shoes I customize. So I got these at the hardware store for a couple bucks. It was like a four pack. Trying to get it down in the grooves to get the boost on the upper part of the bottom of the sole. All right, I think I got it covered pretty good. Now we're gonna put some saran wrap on it to help it not dry out in the sun. So I'm gonna use the bottom of the Yeezy box to position it the way I need it. Got it all wrapped up. I'm gonna go put it in the sun. I'm gonna let it sit anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. Then we'll be back with the results, all right? All right, I'm back. Unfortunately, it started raining on me a little over 25 minutes after having them out in the sun. Hopefully, maybe that's enough. We're about to find out. Once again, it's the first time I've ever done this whitening process this way.
keep in mind these already have a yellow tint from the factory on the bottom so I think the, was it the third release of these they made it more consistent of being the translucent color all the, all the way on the bottom and the top look a lot better than they did before I started on it compared to the the one that hasn't been cleaned yet. I'm going to go rinse this under some water to help get some of this residue off. And uh, I may have to get like a toothpick to go in the word boost and the Adidas up top. Then it looks like we're probably going to have to do the paint pen treatment on the boost areas to get those back white. We'll be right back, all right? All right, just got them rinsed off. Grab some toothpicks while I was out there. Just going to trace out the word boost to get whatever dirt we couldn't get out from the cleaning. I want to do the Adidas logo right quick. Okay, I got those looking pretty decent. Alright, still got to whiten up this boost. We're going to do the Sharpie paint pen to do that. It probably could have got better with the Soul Bright if I could have left it out in the sun longer, but unfortunately it started raining on me, so had to cut it short. So they almost got 30 minutes of exposure just using the Sharpie. Uh, let's see, this is the medium tip paint pen. You can get them at Walmart. I also have a fine tip. I got to get up in these tighter areas. Probably I'll take a couple coats on this because uh, this guy got the boost pretty dirty. Let that coat dry a little bit. And, uh, a little bit on the Inside of the, the bottom of the sole where it meets the boost, just rubbing a toothpick over it to help clean up the edges. All right, let's move up to these smaller ones while we give this first coat on the main part of the boost time to dry. It's kind of hard to get in some of these smaller ones. Definitely have to go back and clean it up a little bit. I wonder if some of that sole bright is still up in this sole. Mm -hmm. Didn't get it out well enough when I rinsed it off, maybe to make the paint stick. All right, let's go back to the uh, big part of the boost towards the back. And uh, this skinnier one is my newer of the paint pen, so I'm going to use that to help get some more paint on there. All right, I'll give that some time to dry, and we'll, we'll be back, all right? All right, let it dry a little bit. Got it back white. Uh, I did up in the smaller areas. I do not recommend doing that. That was a major pain in the butt to do. I had to go through the toothpick and clean up the edges. So I do not recommend doing the smaller parts of the boost, but this part was a lot easier. So just got a couple more steps and we'll wrap this up. Let's take out the shoe tree. Put in the uh, clean but still nasty insole. I got new ones on the way. All right, slice these bad boys up. Use the other one for comparison. I never have laced one of these up before.
All right, that was a little bit different from traditional shoes to lace up, but got it figured out. So we got the before and the after, huge improvement. Would I recommend Rejuvenator Ultimate Kit? Absolutely. Work great. Look good as new to me. So the products I used, real quick, just for the rundown. Once again, this is not a sponsored video. I use the Rejuvenator, the Ultimate Kit. Highly suggest this. This is the old style uh, packaging. They've recently had a rebrand, but I just now got around to using this. So that's why I have the older looking one. We use the Rejuvenator cleaning solution along with our collapsible bowl. I did use all four styles of the brushes. So the bowl collapses. Very, very neat. So I use the soft bristle on the uppers. On the midsole, I used uh, the medium and stiff a little bit. Then on the bottom, I used stiff and I had to use the brass brush on some of the hard to get stuff, especially in the boost area. We did use the shoe tree to help give the shoe form to help it when we were cleaning. And we also use the Rejuvenator cleaning mat. I highly suggest this. This helps absorb up everything so you don't have a big old mess. Then we popped the insole and the shoelaces with the shoe into the laundry bag. We squeezed one ounce of the sneaker laundry detergent in, washed it, let it dry overnight. Then Today we use the Soul Bright. I had it in the sun almost 30 minutes. It did pretty decent. It started raining, so I had to bring it in. Then we used Sharpie Paint Pen to get the boost back white. And it was very tough to get in these tighter areas. I had to go through with a toothpick to help clean clean it up. But uh, looks pretty good, especially considering how it looked whenever. I bought these as once again a side by side. This is the left foot that we used for this video, and this is the right foot that we have not done yet. So, highly recommend all the Rejuvenator products you've seen in this video. You can use Soul Bright or Salon Care 40 to help clean up the soles. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. Please give a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Translimit and merch in the description. Till next time, it's your boy Infamous C, the ATL Don, signing out. Peace.